the internet is filled with CGI photos of space, aka phony photos, that make it hard to tell what the cosmos truly looks like. A lot of the real pictures taken of the cosmos could easily pass as a computer-generated image with their incredible colors and unique structures, which makes it difficult to differentiate what's real and what's not. Today, we're exploring the real cosmos with 10 non-CGI space photos that shocked the astronomers who took them. The Twin Jet Nebula This gorgeous nebula is composed of two cones of hot gas blasting out from the central star located around 2100 light-years away from Earth and stretches a distance of 1.4 light-years in diameter. Categorized as a bipolar planetary nebula, this structure was formed from a binary star system rather than a singular star. From observing this nebula in depth, astronomers have discovered that this nebula is increasing in size at such a rate that they estimate that it was formed just over 1,200 years ago. The colors of this young nebula are created by the elements that are present within its body. The globular cluster at the edge of the Large Magellanic Cloud Located nearly 160,000 light-years from Earth, the Large Magellanic Cloud is a small galaxy home to thousands of newly formed stars. Sitting in that galaxy is a young globular cluster that is home to thousands of newly formed stars that is close enough to Earth that astronomers could easily study the individual stars within it. While not much is known about the formation and growth of globular clusters like this, discovering one this close will allow scientists to further their understanding of the countless clusters throughout the universe. NGC 1866 has an interesting population of stars, with the first stellar generation still burning brightly alongside the younger generations of stars, which has led astronomers to come up with various theories to explain what has led to this unique feature. Number 8 the mystic mountains of the Milky Way. The Hubble Space Telescope has sent back an incredible number of breathtaking and awe-inspiring images throughout its 30-year mission in orbit over Earth. This incredible structure lies in the Carina Nebula 7,500 light-years away from Earth. It captured the chaotic region of the Milky Way where these massive pillars of dust and gas extend for over three light-years. Inside of these columns of matter, new stars are forming blasting jets of radiation and gas out of the massive structure blown by the intense solar winds they produce. This radiation is slowly eroding the denser area of gas and dust, which will lead this prominent structure to eventually fade away into nothing. Number 7. The Whirlpool Galaxy the Messier 51 galaxy, better known as the Whirlpool Galaxy, sits over 23 million light-years away from Earth and shows us what a true spiral galaxy looks like. Its massive arms wind around its central region, creating a whirlpool that draws you in. These colossal arms are composed of long stretches of stars with gas and dust sitting in between. The arms of spiral galaxies are essentially stellar nurseries, where a large majority of the galaxy's stars are formed. Dust and gas sitting in these arms slowly begin coming together and compressing into new stars. To the side of the Whirlpool Galaxy, its small companion galaxy can be found. As this companion comes nearer to its larger neighbor, its gravitational energy causes ripples to travel through the galactic arms, squeezing matter together and causing a wave of new stars to form. Could further study by interacting galaxy pairs help astronomers understand how forces behave on the massive scale of galaxies? 6. The Antenna Galaxies Made up of two separate galaxies interacting within the constellation of Corvus, sitting over 45 million light-years away from the Earth. As the two galaxies become intertwined, the clouds of gas and dust within either galaxy are colliding together within the massive magnetic fields produced by the pair. First discovered in the latter part of the 1700s, this pair of galaxies has been inspiring astronomers and the focus of different studies that seek to understand the large gravitational forces that govern galaxies and galactic clusters as a whole. They have been colliding for the past several hundred million years and have led to the creation of billions of new stars over that time. Astronomers calculated that the two galaxies should conclude their interaction in about 400 million years, at which time the centers of the galaxies will collide and the cores will merge into one. What will the remaining galaxy look like once this collision is finally over? The Stellar Nursery in Orion 
Within the constellation of Orion lies the Orion Nebula, just over 1,300 light years away from the Earth. This region of Orion is not only home to those massive clouds of dust and gas, but also home to a large amount of new star formation. Captured with the Hawkeye infrared camera equipped on the very large telescope high atop of the mountains in Chile. Astronomers were shocked when they took a closer look at this region of space because they discovered far more planetary mass objects than they had originally expected to find there. The blue star being born behind a veil. Not far from us in the Milky Way sits a region near the Chameleon constellation known as the Chameleon Complex. Within this complex there lies a dazzling young star known as HD 97300 that has begun to light up the cloud that gave it birth. Known as a reflection nebula, this star sits only 500 light years away from Earth and causes the dust and gas particles within the cloud to glow, creating this eerie blue veil that hangs around the new star. Even though this star is young, HD 97300 is not only the largest star within this complex, it also burns the brightest, creating a beacon that drew astronomers to it. The mysterious Hoag's object. Since its discovery in the 1950s, the Hoag's object is a unique ring-shaped galaxy that appears to hold two additional galaxies within. Located 600 million light-years away from Earth, the outer ring of this object stretches over 100,000 light-years across, formed from billions of blue stars. If you look closely at the dark region that sits between the outer ring and the central sphere, a third, much more distant ring galaxy can be seen peeking through. Astronomers are still trying to figure out how this object was able to form, but one hypothesis suggests that Hoag's object was once a circular disk galaxy until a collision ripped through its center, altering its gravitational pull and allowing a new sphere of stars to form in the void. Number 2. Einstein's Freaky Rings of Relativity Einstein's general theory of relativity facilitated a complete shift in the way that scientists viewed how the universe functions. One of the stranger interactions described by this theory has to do with the phenomena called gravitational lensing in which light will be warped as it passes by a large source of gravitational energy. This particular Hubble image shows an example of Einstein rings when looking towards the constellation of Fornax in the southern hemisphere. The gravitational lensing here makes the galaxy's light stretch and smear into a rough ring shape by the gravitational forces produced by its neighboring galaxy cluster. Number 1. The Hourglass Nebula The universe is full of incredible objects that look nearly unbelievable. Located around 8,000 light-years away, this planetary nebula has an extremely interesting structure with two massive sections of gas and dust that form its unique shape. This detailed image taken by the Hubble Space Telescope shows the intricate patterns at the edges of the nebula and was made by combining three images taken at various wavelengths to capture the different types of matter present. The star that led to the formation of the nebula was similar to the Sun and by studying the ejection of its mass can help astronomers understand the final stages in the life of these types of stars. By studying this nebula, scientists hope to find clues as to what's in store for our Sun and solar system in a few billion years into the future. Would you think any of these images were computer generated if you didn't already know they were real? Thanks for watching. See you next time on Matter.